This is the second part of business card tutorial. I'll show you how to create black paper material and set some compositions with Cloner. If you didn't see the first part, watch it before this video. Create a copy of the card, rename it, switch off white card, create material copy, rename to Drag it on this material. Drag here black paper texture. You can find it in the description. Now just switch these textures in diffuse. Create a copy of this material and rename it to Open it and make the same thing. Switch the textures. Drag black material here, right on this material. This is our black card. In this material you can change text color. And here you can change material presets. Gold for example. For dark paper I prefer plastic setup. Change color on white or slightly gray. Now adjust the lights. It is too intense now. Switch off all except dome light. Exposure on one. Top light make less intense, like this. Left is ok, right too. Front like this. Now a little adjustment to texture. One is ok, not so intense and deep. In other materials we need to set up the same number. Here. Here. And here. Back to black. Now we need some background material. Create new. Drop on background. Make it dark and not so reflective. Create a cube. This is for the floor or table. Copy this material, drop it on the cube. Make some edits. Add a little reflectivity.
select your preferences I'll do something like that next step copy this card with alt select cloner choose grid array here here per step one and here two choose distance between cards Select cards amount, rotate this stack and drop it on the floor. Now you can copy and move this stack You can change the card inside the cloner on another card or mix them Create some composition from stacks Add some out of stock cards for composition. If your computer is running slow, Select all redshift object tags and switch off geometry when you edit the scene. Don't forget to switch them on at the end before the render. Add another stack, position and rotate. Another card and so on. Create your own compositions. Next trick, add some life in the stacks. With cloner selected, choose a random effector and check position here. Check rotation for some small degree, like this. And now we get some life with random. You can add some shifts for cards, select this and add small numbers in X and Y. In Effector, you can change it for other random results.
These parameters will bring your cards up. Adjust parameters on your taste. This render instance mark will increase your render speed for clone objects in the render viewer. Just don't forget to switch it off before final render. That's it for the stack and last thing falling cards with cloner. Switch off the table. Select random. Increase position, parameters and rotation. Find some good angle for cards. Then increase the count parameter. Drop black card inside the cloner. Make it visible. Let's see what we got. Play with seed parameter and find some good composition. Here you can see some clipping. That is because cards are very close to each other. Increase distance between them here. And last thing, set the parameters for the final render. Press here to open settings. In the output set your own numbers. Here choose where to render and select output file format. Here all stays as we set up before. Here increase samples for cleaner render. And then hit render button. You can see this warning from Redshift. It says that desolation is disabled. That is because our cloner render instance is on. We need to switch it off before the final render. Uncheck it and try again. Now all is good. Just some clippings here and here. Fix them and then re-render. Or you can blur them out with depth of field. For more information about depth of field you can see my video with soda cans.